Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be checking out the prologue demo for Triangle Strategy. So one of the cool things about this is uh, apparently you can carry over your progress to the main game. So I'll probably play for however long I feel comfortable and then uh, get some impressions on it. And then when the full game comes out, we'll continue our adventure. So I guess this will technically be episode one of the LP because I am positive I'm going to be playing this. So let's go ahead and hop in. New game. Thank you for your download. This is a pre-release version that comprises characters one through three of the main story. Save data can be carried over to the full game. Unit levels in the demo cap at five. Battles that will challenge your convictions await in the realm of Norzalia. We hope you enjoy the game. So please select the difficulty. Mode recommended for those who have played tactical games before and are looking to take on challenging battles. Immerse themselves in the thrill of battle. I, I think I'll go with normal. I think I'll go with normal. I've played a lot of these games. I like them a lot, but I'm not... I, I don't want to have to grind or anything. It says it can be changed later, actually. We'll put it on normal for now. If I ever feel like I need to up the difficulty, I can. So, yeah, I guess this will technically be episode one of the LP. On the faraway continent of Norzelia, three mighty powers reigned. The Kingdom of Glenbrook, through which runs the mighty Norzelia River, bringing flourishing trade. The Grand Duchy of Esfrost, a land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. That's where I'd want to live. I love the ice areas. The ice towns and snow towns are always the best. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzat, home to the lake from which is harvested the salt is central to life. Huh, it's a heart-shaped lake. And salt is essential to life. Cool. With each nation controlling one vital resource, conflict between these three powers was all too common. I guess you do need a little bit of sodium in your diet. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles, and before long, the realm was engulfed in a bloody conflict that would rage on for years. Many died in what came to be known as the Salt Iron War. Brought to their limits and facing their mutual demise, the three powers at last negotiated a truce. The Norzelia Consortium is formed, a neutral organization that oversees fair trade of iron and salt. Finally, peace came to the realm. Okay, so wait, what, what about the third nation? What did they bring into this equation? Because, uh, I mean, obviously, I feel like the northern region would probably have the best shot, considering they hold all of the supplies of iron, so they can just make more weapons, but... I mean, I guess you gotta keep your troops fed, and salt can be useful for that, specifically with, like, curing meat and stuff. Thirty years pass. Now, a new bond is set to be formed between the Grand Duchy of Esfrost and House Wolfort of Glenbrook, whose power in the kingdom is second only to that of the royal family itself. Chapter 1, A Young Hawk Soars. So yeah, I really love strategy uh, RPGs and strategy JRPGs. I'm a massive, like, Final Fantasy Tactics, Tactics Ogre, Disgaea. Um, I played a lot of Fire Emblem, just all those kinds of things. I love it. They're so much fun. And this leads, like, really into Tactics Ogre and Final Fantasy Tactics specifically. Look, they even walk like FFT you characters. Oh my god, that's so cool. The little, the little move their arms. I love it. Good morning. Congratulations, my lord. The future of Wolford is looking brighter than ever. Hmm. Oh yeah, also this is made by the people that made uh, Octopath Traveler. And I think that the same people that work on Bravely Default. Maybe I'm, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm mixing that up. I think it's the same people though. The battle system in Octopath Traveler was definitely very reminiscent of Bravely Default. I think it's the same company. But I love this art style. Today's the day, is it not? We're all ready for the big moment. Thank you, everyone. Young Master, Lord Serenoa. So, you were here after all. Ah, Benedict. It would seem word has reached the people already. I should say that I usually play these games on uh, with Japanese, but uh, 
for LPs, it seems like it's so much easier to play it with English, even though I prefer playing it with Japanese, because then if people aren't totally watching the video at all times and completely following, they don't have to read all the text and everything. It makes it just a little bit easier to watch. You can thank Eridor for that. He couldn't refrain from blabbing the news to anyone who would listen. I'll have a talk with him after. This is a momentous day. Not merely for our domain, but for all of Glenbrook. Domain? Is that just supposed to be domain? Like your, your area that you rule? I do not think it possible to keep it a secret. This is well and true, my lord. But you must consider your betrothed's lineage. Oh, you're getting married. That's why everybody's happy for you. I'm well aware of the situation, Benedict. I cannot say for sure what repercussions this may have. What I do know is that the people rejoice for us and harbor hope for the future. As the future Lord of House Woolfort, I must rise to the occasion. I'm guessing this is a political marriage? Fine resolve, my lord. As House Steward, I will do all in my power to assist. Thank you, Benedict. It is heartening to have the support of my father's right-hand man. Shall we head to the port then, my lord? So soon? I had thought we would have more time. Oh, we gotta take a boat to where we're getting married? The river's waters have risen with the heavy rainfall earlier this week. And given the wind, I think it likely that Esfrost's ship will arrive ahead of schedule. You never cease to amaze. Very well then, let us be on our way. All right, cool. Neato. Well then, that was the setup for our first little thing. I, so it said it goes up to chapter three. Is chapter like one going to be one battle, basically? Selecting event markers on the world map will advance the story. There are two sides of events, main and sub. Main events are crucial to the plot, while sub events are entirely optional, but will disappear from the map as the story progresses. Okay, so that basically means I'm going to obsess, obsess over doing all the sub events before I advance the main story ever. Selecting event markers on the world map will advance the story. There are two types of events, main and sub. Okay, so I just, yeah, okay. The, the, oh my god, <laughs> I read the same thing. Roster, Inventory, War Chronicle, and System have been added to the main menu. Press the X button to open the main menu where you can view your units, prepare for battle, adjust various game settings, and more. Additional features will be unlocked as the story progresses. The game uses an autosave feature, however there is only one autosave slot. You may save manually or create additional save data at any time. Okay. Yeah, I thought when I just pressed A enough it would just finish, but uh, no. Okay, so that's where we're supposed to go, I guess. And as Frosty Warship arrives at Wolf... Fort Harbor, where a woman with rose-colored hair and her attendant disembark. Okay. And I'm guessing the War Chronicle just kind of explains the story up to that point. I'm imagining. It is cool that I can carry my save data over to this. Usually I don't do that with demos, but for this it feels right, I guess? I don't know, we'll see. But I'm imagining this is probably going to be episode one of the LP, basically. Hello. I thank you for the escort. You are free to go. But Lady Frederica, there is no one here to receive you. He will be along shortly, no doubt. If I have heard true, he is not the type to keep a lady waiting. Oh wait, you were coming in on the boat. I wasn't going to the boat. Okay. By your leave then. We wish you everlasting happiness, my lady. Thank you. I shall work hard both for my new home and for my motherland. Please let brother, the Archduke, know that. As you command, my lady. We leave the rest to you, Gila. I shan't let you down. You sound familiar. Who is that? I swear I recognize that voice, Gila. Later, guys. That's a big ship. As a big boy ship. All right, so where's where's my other character? Phew, Glenbrook at last. Finally, we can take a moment of respite from our long journey. 
That said, it would seem we've arrived ahead of schedule. I much prefer it to being late. This is a momentous day for Esfrost, and for the entire realm. We cannot afford to make a bad first impression. Yeah, and Esfrost was one of the regions, right? Wasn't it the one to the north? I might be wrong. <laughs> Still getting used to all the names. I agree. Which is why we cannot have you looking so tense. Why don't we go for a bit of a stroll? It did say that a new bond was about to be formed, so that's probably... It's probably talking about this bond between... Like, this marriage. A fine idea. After all, this may be the last time in a while that I am free to do as I please. Hmm. Most are not inclined to grant liberty to one of Rosellen heritage, such as me. Rosellen? Most are not inclined to grant liberty to one of Rosellen heritage. Okay, so you're not expecting to be able to do much in the marriage. It very much is a political ma marriage. The music's very pretty so far. But Octopath had great you music too. You brought that pendant with you? Of course. It is the only memento I have of my mother. Uh. Oh no, these guys know how to throw stones. That means they've got at least a little bit of JP in the squires in the squire job class. <laughs> Thank you kindly, little lady. No, we can't defeat anybody that can throw stones. Hopefully they don't have accumulate. Letting a whole boatload of guards go back home was a stroke of genius. We heard tell you'd be here, and we wanted to be the ones to welcome you. The winds of fortune are blowing today, aren't they, Pa? Brigands! Stand back, Frederica. I shan't let them have you. I can't believe my two guards were taken down by one stone apiece. <clears throat> what kind of guards are you? All they did was hit you in the helmet with a rock. Like, don't, don't get me wrong, it would stun you, but... Would you be actually knocked out? <laughs> okay, is this gonna be our first battle? Is Gila going to protect me? Maybe the uh, other character will come in as well? Some kind of prince, I'm assuming? Yeah, we are making our way over there. Battle. Recommended level two. I don't know if I'm ready. We'll see. I'm ready to disappoint everyone with how bad I am. What do you intend to do with us? Make our little hostages, is all. And wring every last coin out of the duchy and house Wolfort. What's with that pink hair, though? Ya Rosellen? Oh, okay. So Rosellens are a specific, like, race or ethnicity, I guess. Because you notice them by their pink hair. And that lady looks like she's from Hyzant. Did we go after the wrong boat? Impossible! The ship was full of as frosty soldiers. Enough! I am without a doubt. Okay. Have you bandits no shame? Attacking two innocent women? And just who in the hell are you? I am your death. In Norzelia, three major guiding convictions prevail. Utility, morality, and liberty. These take the form of invisible parameters that are influenced by the choices you make throughout the game. Wow, this is similar to the um, system in Final Fantasy Tactics, actually. Uh, Basically, it, it changes what you have to do in the level, and it changes some of your stats a little bit. It was like Brave and something else. The decisions will shape Serenoa's convictions, as well as influence which companions may choose to join his cause. Interesting. Okay, that's a cool idea. I like that. Who are you exactly? A band of common brigands from the looks of it. You need to know who. Surrender now and we can resolve this peacefully. You two bear a striking resemblance. Might you be father and daughter? Um, well, who are you? Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. You two bear a striking resemblance. Might you be father and daughter? Convictions have been strengthened. You two bear a striking resemblance. 
Might you be father and daughter? You got that right. This is Trish, my pride and joy. She's a chip off the old block, ain't she? Well, I'm about to kick your asses, so she might not be a chip off the old block much longer. So, uh, I suggest you leave. <laughs> Minus the stench and the hairy arms, maybe. You wound me, girl! That was supposed to be a compliment. Quick, now, stab them, do it. Somebody, throw a fireball, anything. One of you's gotta be a mage, right? If you'd prefer, we'll leave you alone to settle your family dispute. You're the whole reason we're quarreling, you dolt! Exactly! You're about to pay for messing with Travis, the bandit king! Travis? <laughs> Our foe has lost their composure. Well done, my lord. Were they ever composed? Ah, enough of this! You'll regret ruining our plans! Oh wow, you're an archer. Two arms, my lord. Wow, that's not the best spot for you to be, archer. You're like, you're the closest to me. Bad move. Stand back, the both of you. No, we fight together. I brought this upon us through my indiscretion. Pray allow me to help. My lady. I am a teacher of the arcane arts, and Frederica is a most apt pupil. Okay, I was about to say. I can assure you we shan't be a burden. Are you my healer? She's the, the, the other girl's the mage. And then, yeah, we got these two guys. Then I ask for your support from the back lines. And you shall have it. Why didn't you tell me you were having such fun? I would have joined you sooner. Who is this now? What are you doing here? We got a cavalier. Look at him. Let us talk later. Now, I believe we have some lawless ruffians to rout. Man, I love spears. Spears don't get enough play in games. Same thing for flails. Alright, let's go. This is gonna be my first battle, right? Benedict's aptitudes in battle, unwavering support with a strategic edge. Aids comrades with various support abilities, alters the turn order of his allies. Ooh, that's powerful. Frederica, a pyromancer whose fire ignites chaos on the battlefield, casts sweeping spells to assail multiple enemies, can use fire spells to fit flammable squares ablaze. Interesting, so we have like, um, environmental effects that we can do. That's always neat to see. Gila. Okay, so you're the healer. Brings balance to the battlefield of powerful healing magic. Specializes in HP recovery. Healing spells are even more effective on allies in mortal danger. Okay, cool. N nothing about the cavalier person, I guess. That's fine. Well, this is pretty cool so far. Set up, uh, the, the story is immediately kind of interesting, just like, uh, how Final Fantasy Tactics starts up with, like, warring countries and stuff. I hope you adults are ready to learn a hard lesson. You'll need more than numbers to beat us. Will we? Their confidence is admirable, at least. Orders, my lord? Give them no quarter. We cannot allow brigands to have the run of Wolfort. Just who are these people, anyway? Now, Benedict. In battle, positioning, turn order, keys to victory. Attacks from higher ground than that of your target deal increased damage. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. The back attacks, are back attacks just more accurate then? Attacks from behind are guaranteed to score a crit. A mark will appear when you perform a back attack. The order in which uh, units take action is determined by their speed attribute. Upcoming turn order is displayed via the AT bar at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so we actually have a turn order. It's not just turn based like they take a turn, I take a turn. Interesting. Cool. And yeah, move camera. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. I got it. Think you got what it takes to best my family? <laughs> Fools, the lot of you. <laughs> All right, Travis. Give him a fight, man. Distinguish yourself in battle, and you receive your due reward. I mean, we'll see if you can do that. Panels and lines of attack. Blue panels within movement range. Purple panels within movement range, and enemies. Range of attack. Oh, cool. It just tells you that immediately on this screen. In a lot of other games, you have to like press a button to actually see their range or go highlight them. Red lines indicate that enemies can attack the unit. Red panels indicate my attack range, and yellow panels indicate the area of effects. 
Makes sense. We do not pay kindly to thievery here in Wolfhorn. You will pay for your crimes. Defeat is not an option. All right, Sarah Noah. So, let's see. I could beat up on you. What is simulation? Does that just mean like put the command in and have it set? Uh, details. The unit uh, details screen shows you a unit's stat and abilities. You can also press the X button to equip accessories. Huh. Wow, the art's really cool. Huh. Yeah, though, the art's are very nice. So you have... You have stats, and you're a bandit rogue. Okay, so... Let's see, I, I don't know if I get, actually get a bonus or anything for attacking you from the side. So let's just move uh, right here. Okay, command menu. In this menu, you can choose which command to use on the selected unit. It's split into two tabs, actions and items. Use the L stick or directional buttons to change tabs. In the actions tab, you can choose whether to use a normal attack with the unit's weapon or a unique ability. Abilities consume TP and units are gained one TP at the start of their turn. The items tab contains a list of items. With few exceptions, a unit can only perform one action or use one item per turn. Okay. <clears throat> so. Physical damage to an enemy and delay its turn. Ooh, I like delaying turns. Delaying turns is always really neat. Yeah, I think I want to delay your turn. So that's you, right there. So if I... Well, you already go last. I guess there's not really much of a point then, if you're already going last. Okay, and we do 21 damage. What's the 10? There. Because I'm doing more than 10 damage. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what that 10 means. Okay, and we do choose which direction we face and everything. Okay, yeah, this is very Final Fantasy Tactics. You think you're all high and mighty, huh? Well, we'll show you we're no slouches ourselves. All right, go for Push it. Me at him. We're just trying to make a living here. Treasure chaser yeah. is your class. Close, but not Ooh. quite. Close, but no cigar, nerd. Our land has no place for those who disregard the law. I see a path to victory. Your voice is funny. Kind of, kind of, kind of nice to hear. I just, I just like to hear it. Okay, so you're a tactician. So what exactly can you do? You have a cane sword. That's badass. Um, you have pretty high physical defense, good speed, and your abilities. You apparently don't have your weapon skill unlocked. Okay, but you can use these things. There's an ally uh, strength and magic attack. Okay, so Raging Blast might be all you can do right now. Ooh, it looks like we also have Weapon Masteries as well. Okay. So can you... I mean, I guess I could move you up, but you couldn't attack, so... Let's just use, uh... Yeah, so we could attack with you. But we... I mean, you do have a physical attack, that's what I'm trying to say. But we can't get in range to actually hit anybody. So I'm just gonna Raging Blast the the lady that can throw fireballs. Time to strike. That seems like a good idea to me. That seems like a fantastic idea to me. So, end our turn. My turn. Alright, you. Okay, the bandit rogue. So I can do more damage if I'm up high. Well, you look really cool. Double thrust, deal physical damage to a single enemy. It just does more. Okay. Okay, and there's our accuracy. We can see it over there on the bar. Cool. God, I love these types of games. Yeah! I haven't gotten to play as many of these on the channel as I would want, because not very many of them come out, frankly. I played, uh, Fey Tactics, and... I want to say there was another one that I played. Shall we make it a contest, my friend? Let us see who brings down more of these ruffians. I think not. Whatever would I tell your father if harm were to befall you? These are no ordinary men. These are bloodthirsty men. I'm a fool. Maybe next time. Oh, wow, there's like combo attacks. If an enemy's Okay, so those Let us are calm and clear-headed. That is our surest path to victory. Those are in like Disgaea. Um if if you are beside an enemy that an ally attacks, you have a chance of doing a follow-up attack. That's really cool. Shall we Makes begin? positioning way more important. Oh, I like your art. Look at you. Okay, so if I move there, you're in range to get hit, but I also want to move so I can heal? Because you probably need to be healed. Uh, what's the range on that? So if I move right here, 
Yes, I can cure wounds. Okay, yeah, this this menu here is really good. It kind of does a lot of the stuff for you, so you don't have to go through and do it manually. I like it quite a bit. Like when you move to a location, it shows you everything you can do from that location. Pretty neat. Follow-up attacks. When the enemy is struck with a physical attack, any allies on the opposite side of that enemy will automatically perform a follow-up attack. A mark... Okay, so it has to be the opposite side. So if... Yeah, so you want to... It's front to back or left to right and stuff. I imagine if, like, I'm getting attacked from behind and there's someone on my right side, then it won't trigger a follow-up attack, based off of how it's explained here. Mark will appear if the attacking, uh, attacking the selected target will trigger a follow-up attack. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, that's neat. We must defend ourselves from this danger that threatens us. Does this trigger like off of peace. magic attacks, I wonder? So, Scorch, if I... Okay, I do have to move closer. So, if I move right here... Nope. Oh, wait, no, that would hit you, because it's AoE. Okay, so yeah, that will not trigger a follow-up attack. Probably because it's magic, it has to be a... Uh, um, a physical attack. And you're resistant, apparently. It, it, wow, that's cool. It flashes resistant if they're resistant to something. With the powers in me. Boom. I just set you on fire. Cool. How dare you? Oh, wow, you do six damage. Okay, never mind. That's gonna hurt, though. Impossible. God, there's a lot of you, you know that? Come it through! Travis. There is no mercy. Wow, he moves slow as all hell. What is your movement, dude? Your movement is five. You're just not moving very fast. Weird. Um, alright, so uh What's her face? Um gets another turn soon. Um, I think I may move up and attack. Let's see, let's get you right there, and let's cane sword you? Are you? Okay, so yeah, see, I don't think that works for the follow-up attack, but if I move right here, yes. Okay, so it has to specifically be on the opposite side. Interesting. Okay. Now, so that is open. different than this Gaia system. For the honor of House Wolfort. Okay, so... Let's see, your next turn is all the way down there. You, though... Oh, wait, no, you're right here. Okay, I'll delaying strike... Um... This guy, then. Because you're closer to my turn. My next turn, so... Yeah, get the delaying wait strike. Wait your turn! Wait your turn! <laughs> and I imagine it's working, uh... Like Final Fantasy Tactics does, where once we get to 100 XP, we level up? Maybe? Possibly? Yeah, this is very similar to FFT, honestly. And that is the highest praise imaginable that I could give something because I love Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, alright. You're hanging out over here. And they're all starting to pile up down there. Let's just, uh... Let's just hit you, why don't we? With an attack. Take that. Stabby. Cool. I'm gonna turn this way so my back is to the wall. Because you're going to come after me and attack me as well. This way I'm facing front. And you can't get a crit on me. Okay. Our healer has a turn next. Gila. Um, is anybody hurt? Sarah Noah's kind of hurt. You can hit somebody with a rod. Um. Honestly, why not? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it does a little bit of damage. Bonk! Go to horny jail. Let me show you what I've learned. Okay, and I can scorch some idiots right there. Ooh, big damage. Big damage. Please heed my okay, call. buffing you was a good idea. <laughs> buffing you was a very good idea. <laughs> you are scary. Okay, yeah, I think we're going to win this, uh, win this battle, no problem. Ready. What are you gonna do, Travis? Oh. Oh my god. Yeah. With the wrestling moves. Forward. Jeez. Please don't do that. Um, okay, so if I hit you. Yeah, we're gonna do big damage to you. Of course I could. And let's let's just let's just beat up one. Or we could take you out. What about taking you out? 
Yeah, we would take you out because of the follow-up attack. There we go. Or you crit. Okay. Well, we both got XP for it, so that's still cool. Um, you turned your back. Can you attack diagonally with the spear? Or is it just... Okay, it's just in a line. You can't attack diagonals. Alright, that sucks, but uh, we can make do. The archer doesn't seem to like our blue-haired friend... Er, blue-haired? Blonde-haired friend here. He has blue eyes, not blue hair. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Okay. Could I finish you off? It seems like I could. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. And let's cane sword you. God, you're gonna have like no HP left. How annoying. Point me at him! Trish, just quit it. Impossible! Owie, that actually hurt quite a bit. Okay, well. Oh, that was my bad, leaving my back exposed like that. I just went over how I shouldn't do that. Um. Okay, you move over here. Cure your wounds. And I think I'm gonna have you face that way. So they can't get around to your back. Hmm. Let's see, you have enough. Okay, no, you do not have enough to do anything really crazy. Can you just... Are you gonna hit him with your book? Sorry. Oh, wow, you really My did. My is superior. <laughs> just smacked him with the book. So even though you killed that enemy with your attack, um, our other character still got XP because it was a follow-up attack, even though they were already dead. So that's neat to uh, notice you're ready. as well. Alright, Travis. Uh, I think it's safe to say you've, you've probably lost here. You remind me of a character, of sort of, from... Um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. If you've seen Xenoblade Chronicles 2, you probably know who I'm talking about. But you just kind of remind me of that character. Although that character is not as not an asshole like you are. Almost said not as much of an asshole, but I was like, no, that character is not an asshole at all. Um, so your turn's coming up. Let's uh, delaying strike your ass. I'll make this quick. You stop that. Haha. -ha. Charge. And I will do a big murder on you really quickly, if you don't mind. Savvy. Or a backstab. So did we get extra XP for that? Best. I think we do. Okay, I probably need to redo your buff, right? Hmm. Because you're about to run out of that. Yeah, Raging Beast. That's a very powerful buff. I have your back. I like that. Delightful. I like having a character that's just dedicated to bus in a game like Shall this. We begin? Reminds me of having a time mage. Uh, ooh. Okay, so this will trigger a follow-up attack. Because, yeah. So yeah, it's just if your ally is straight across. So you can't just kind of pile four enemies on one target like in Disgaea and just have them wail on the enemy. Unfortunately, you can't do that. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. I still don't know what this three means. Oh, it's time until your turn, I guess? Yeah. I guess that's it, because after my turn, then your daughter's turn, and then it's your turn. It's three. Okay. With the that makes sense, I guess. Hey, yeah, you like that? You like fire? Point me at him! Okay, you're yeah. you're just moving oh, into more no. and more danger. My turn! I do like it when the healers can actually do nice physical damage. Ow. That was pain. Uh, I'm gonna lay your turn again. God, being able to lay turns is so good. To lead, I must grow. Good level up. There we are. Um, unfortunately, I can't get it quite in range. Um, I haven't actually even seen what my items are. HP recovery pellet. Well, I don't need to use that. We'll just uh, end our turn. And I end my turn. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Okay, so things aren't looking really good for you. I think I'm going to cane sword here so we can get a bit more damage on you. That oh god, we do like no damage to you. For a better world. Hey, level up though. We got level up heals. Usually don't in, this, in these games. Nope, we do not. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna have you heal yourself up with the HP recovery pellet because uh, I got bopped. I kind of left these two down I here with do the crazy maniac with the club, so that wasn't the best call. Ooh, I can get a follow-up attack on you though. 
Yeah, let's let's work on finishing you off. And then we can kind of lead the other uh, guy over here, Travis. Kind of kite him up here. Um, double thrust? Yeah, it just has more power. That is enough to kill. Is your basic attack enough to kill? Not quite. Alright, double thrust it is. My lance strikes you just stab twice. You'll rue this day, you bastards! Eh, you're dead, so. Exquisite spoils secured. Spoils. Fallen enemies occasionally drop spoils. End an allies turn on the square containing the spoils to claim it. Enemies can also claim spoils, so beware. So we want to get it before they do. Yet another thing that's very similar to uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, except I notice we don't have the spirit gems. God, that was always the worst. In Final Fantasy Tactics, when one of your characters went down, you had three turns to get them back up. And if you didn't get them back up, their soul turns into a crystal. Which you can use to fully heal your HP and MP, or you can learn some of their skills if they had like really good skills. I would always restart battles when I lost one of my characters, it was too sad. On rare occasions, enemies will drop small boxes containing exquisite spoils. Allies do not need to pick up these items, they are automatically acquired. Spoils cannot be used the moment they are acquired. You must emerge victorious to see the spoils you have attained and claim items as your own. All unclaimed spoils will be lost once the battle ends. <laughs> Alright, cool. Wow. Rude. Jeez, you're totally doing... Okay, that was just like a straight up... Not really a suplex, you just kind of... Twirled her over your head and then threw her behind you? But whatever. I don't know the exact term for a maneuver like that. Let us pry a suplex of sorts, I guess, because usually what a suplex is is you pick them up over your head and then throw them down behind you, but whatever. It's probably not worth that, uh, thinking about that hard. Um. Hmm. Well. Um, I could Raging Beast you. Um, I guess I'll just Raging Beast myself. There's no one back. else to use it on for the moment. I just love that for you use a cane sword. That's so Wolf badass. I fight for peace. Okay, and you... Get over here... And drop a fireball on his ass. There you go. With the powers that way, hopefully he can stop just beating you up. That would be ideal. Cool heads shall prevail. Um, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. Nobody super needs healing. I'm probably still gonna drop a heal on somebody though. You need it the most, I suppose. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, you have a lot of range in this game, which is nice. I'm really loving this so far, actually. I think I am only going to do this first little battle chapter here for the for this episode because it's taken quite a long time, but I'm really impressed by what I've seen so far. It's the closest thing that we've gotten in recent memory to like a new Final Fantasy Tactics game that I can think of and God, I love that. I won't lose. That is definitely something that will be played on the channel one day. I absolutely love Final Fantasy Tactics. Um I think that's probably my best bet. You might be able to get around to my back from there. Not well, not if I have you block. Even more so if I delay your turn. I'll make this quick. Get delayed, ah. idiot. Haha. -ha. Okay. Let then, us uh, well, it helped a little us. bit. There we go. So go ahead and give him an attack. You have boosted attack, and you you're gonna get a open. follow up as well. I Good gotta stuff. get the upper hand. To get a lot of XP, it seems like you really want to do those uh, follow-up attacks as much as you possibly can. Uh, you can't get in range to do anything. Cool heads shall prevail. But we have all of our actions here, so... Um... I could attack, or I could let you two get, like, a uh, follow-up attack. Oh yeah, there is one thing I haven't checked that I need to check. Do you get XP for healing? Allow me. My yes. Apologies. You do. Okay, that's always a good thing to find out in these games. You can grind really easily by doing something like that. And, um... In uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, what I would do is... Have, like, a bunch of people with, like, accumulate and can just use potions on each other and just sit there and smack each other and use potions on each other if you ever needed to grind. Same goes for another game that I played, uh, Luminous Arc, I believe? That game had, you you could, it, it was even more busted in that game. You could grind up to ludicrous levels just sitting on like a, an early level and just kind of whacking each other. Alright, so you should be done now. Yes? Aha! 
This can't be! Oh, it, it do be. Thank you for your spoils. They're exquisite. Victory. Okay, yeah, I'm really into this. God, this, this was great. This is everything I wanted it to be. Obviously the story, Serenoto's convictions have been strengthened. Obviously the story is a big part of a game like this as well, and I haven't really seen much of that yet, but it's setting up to potentially be something interesting. We'll, we'll see where it goes, but the gameplay so far is exactly what I wanted, so props to them for that. Kudos obtained? Utilize high ground for follow-up. Okay, so that's what those things I was getting were. Wonder what those points are for. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see, like, the next story segment, and then I'll probably end this off. Might even upload this tonight, actually. The demo came out tonight, and I might just say screw it and upload it tonight at, like, 12 a.m. Wait! I know that face! That's the Wolfort Lordling! The one and only. What's that you say? Wolfort? It can't be. What are they doing here so damn soon? This ain't what we planned for. Let's get out of here. I see the guards are back up now. We're a bunch of no good thieves. At least they know when they're in over their heads. I would have preferred to apprehend them and see them atone for their crimes, but uh, so be it. One of the only things I'm like curious because uh, it's missing is we don't have like a, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a, uh, like a headshot? of the characters we don't have like a um a little bit of art for the characters when they're talking or something maybe that'll be in the finished game i don't know maybe they didn't put it in for the demo but a lot of games like this especially when they're talking like that they would have like a little you know like a you know a picture of the character up there it really does a lot for it your bride to be is safe isn't that what matters my bride to be my sincerest apologies. I had no idea we were being trailed by bandits. But where are my manners? I am Frederica of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. I have come to fulfill our agreement. I am honored to join you in marriage and to call House Walfort my new home. The honor and pleasure is mine, Lady Frederica. Pray forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. <laughs> to think you'd fight at each other's side in battle before exchanging your vows. Though, I dare say that it bodes well for Wolford that its new lord and lady makes such a fine team. Yeah, I, I should probably never piss her off considering she can burn my flesh from my bones. Your Highness! What a way to meet each other, by the way. <laughs> Here. Here you are. Why, the entire Kingsguard has been scouring the land for you. Did you sneak out of the castle again, Roland? Let's see, they called me a lordling, then what would that make you? Are you like my older brother or something? They even referred to you as your highness. When I heard my best friend's betrothed was arriving in Glenbrook, I simply couldn't miss the occasion. Oh, maybe you're the, maybe you're the royalty of a different area. While we appreciate the sentiment, perhaps you should have said something to the king. <laughs> I'm the least of my dear father's concerns. Okay, so wait, you're straight up a prince. I'm just a lord. <laughs> Though I suspect Huet will think otherwise. I suppose I'd best be on my way back. Rest easy, my fair lady Frederica. You are in good hands here. I look forward to celebrating your union. Till we meet again. Cool. Thanks for the ring. His ring bore the insignia of Glenbrook's royal family. Could that have been... Prince Roland. King Regna's younger son. So a lord and a prince drove off a band of brigands by their own hand. What a fascinating nation we've come to, Frederica. 
Okay, so yeah, there's some confirmation there. This is Chila, my tutor and attendant. Famed as the martial prowess of the Wolforts, it was an honor to be able to witness it firsthand. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sarah Noah of House Wolfort. And this is Benedict, trusted steward of my family. It is my honor to serve Lord Sarah Noah in any and all matters. On behalf of House Wolfort, I welcome you to our domain. You may think this is an odd question, my lord. But I ask it nonetheless. What does the color of my hair mean to you? Uh, if it is not too forward of me to say so, I find it most beautiful. I find your courage more noteworthy than your appearance. You held your own out there on the battlefield. I think it nothing to be surprised about. We have Roselle living in our very domain. Domain. Uh, not forward of me to say so. I find it most beautiful. I think it is nothing to be surprised about. Yeah, we have, uh, I, I, I mean, I guess saying this, just saying that, oh yeah, no, we, we have Roselle living in our, in our area, so it's not a big deal for us. We're more accepting than other places. I don't know, it is not too forward to me to say so, I find it most beautiful. That just feels weird, because that's clearly not what she's getting at. Also this one, so I think I'm going to say this third one. The convictions have strengthened. I think it's nothing to be surprised about. We have Roselle living in our very domain. You are kind to say so. And yet, there are some who would say that this hair is proof of my ancestors' sins, and shun me for it. Oh, that's the route we're going. Okay. So your, your ancestors did something that people think bad, whether it's whether it, whether it actually happened or not. And you're still living with the, uh, with those problems. Rest assured that no one in House Wolfort would say such terrible things. There is nothing you need worry about here. Thank you, my lord. Lady Frederica, everyone awaits. Allow us to escort you back to Castle Wolfort. Thank you, Benedict. It would be my honor. Frederica and Gila, join your forces. All right, this has been really cool so far. I, I, I'm so happy this turned out to be good. Like, I, I, you, you never know, man. And I was worried because I want a new game that's, that I, that is in the genre that I love so much. So Sarah it's... Noah of Glenbrook's House Wolford and Frederica of Esfrost will unite in marriage to strengthen the ties between their two nations. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm just, I, I don't know, I'm so excited to have another game in this sort of genre. I was incredibly excited when I played Fae Tactics, and now we have another one, so god, am I looking forward to this. Luckily, it's not that far away. In doing so, the newfound allies hope to hold their own in the face of Hyzant's salt monopoly, which continues even now decades after the war. Uh-huh. Who could have known that this was but a prelude to an uprising that would engulf all of Norzelia in the flames of war? A world war, some would say. Also, this isn't a very big world if these are the only three places, or are there more places in this world? They're just, you know, on some other part of the world. I'm totally fine with it just taking place in this small area here. That would kind of make it cool to have a nice, like, not micro area, but a nice small manageable area and just kind of get immersed in this area's world and lore. Encampment has been added to the main menu. Provisioner is now available. You can select encampment from the main menu to access the Wolf Fort Army's camp. Additional features will be unlocked as the story progresses. All right. Well, that's that. I think that's probably all we're going to look at for the demo because this video is almost at an hour, but I'm very, very excited for when this fully releases. I forget actually when it comes out. It's March something, I think. Uh, tri whoop, Triangle Strategy 
Oh my god, I can't type because my mic cable's in the way. Release day, there we go. Uh, March 4th, so 20 days before my birthday. So I got that and Kirby coming in the month of March, which is uh, fantastic. So, got a lot of birthday presents this year. Yeah, so this is probably going to be the first part of the ep of the playthrough if I decide to do that. If I don't, then uh, I'll see you for another first part later. I don't know how much they'll change from this demo to the main release of the game. I don't know if they're going to be taking, like, opinions from people, so maybe they can make some last-minute changes or something like that, but I imagine they wouldn't change anything too crazy, so... This will probably stay as the first episode, although I'll probably have to rewatch it before the game fully comes out, so... I hope you've enjoyed this look at tri Triangle Strategy, and I'll see you next time.